Hey, this is Kevin Lynch with Pizza Channel, and today I'm going to show you how to make marinara sauce. I know there's fancier ways to say that, but I'm not any good at it. I've already shared my pizza sauce recipe, so I'll share a little bit of the difference between my marinara sauce and my pizza sauce. My pizza sauce is an uncooked tomato sauce with just a few ingredients. This really allows the sweetness of the tomatoes to shine and serve as a contrast against the saltiness of the cheese and other toppings. Marinara sauce is cooked on the stove, it's milder, and blends together the aromas of all the different ingredients. I use pizza sauce for most of my pizza styles, but I like marinara for Chicago deep dish as this style of pizza has a really thick layer of sauce right on top. I think the sweetness of a pizza sauce with its San Marzano tomatoes can be overpowering when you're using that much sauce. I also like to use marinara as a dipping sauce for garlic knots or calzones, and it's fantastic as a pasta sauce. This marinara sauce can be good on any pizza, and I think it works well with pizzas that are not to pasta dishes like chicken parm or meatball. I actually had some friends over one time to taste test two cheese pizzas, one with my marinara sauce and one with my pizza sauce. And they all pulled the, well, I kind of like them both. So they're both good and they'll both impress company. But I like that extra sweetness of pizza sauce for most styles of pizza, like New York style, Sicilian, Detroit style, and tomato pie. I use a sweet San Marzano tomato for my pizza sauce, but I like a milder American tomato for my marinara sauce. These are typically grown in California or New Jersey. I really like this brand Scalfani. This is a New Jersey grown tomato, really good. Tutoroso is another really good brand of tomatoes. And there's some Italian American companies that sell some really nice tomatoes. Or get some good tomatoes from your local farms. The ingredients for my marinara sauce are a can of 28 ounce American tomatoes, four cloves of garlic, a half of a white onion, two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, a teaspoon of pepper, a half a teaspoon of Sicilian sea salt, a teaspoon of oregano, a teaspoon of balsamic lays, a bay leaf, an anchovy, and four basil leaves. All right, getting started. First thing I'm gonna do is open my can of tomatoes. I'm just gonna dump these in the blender. Tomatoes and juices. I'm gonna add my teaspoon of pepper. Now I'm gonna put in the half a teaspoon of sea salt. If you don't want to use that anchovy in the sauce, you can go ahead and use a full teaspoon of sea salt. Now I'm going to use a teaspoon of my balsamic glaze. Here's a good one by Cento. If you just have balsamic vinegar, that's fine. I'm just going to swirl it around. That's about a teaspoon. Now I'm going to add in my oregano. You can use a teaspoon of dried oregano or some fresh oregano from the garden. Today I'm going to use some fresh oregano. My onion and my garlic are gonna be sauteed in the olive oil. If you have a small onion, you can use the whole thing. If it's a bigger onion, just go ahead and use half. I'm just gonna roughly chop this because this is gonna go in the blender later. Take four good sized cloves of garlic, take the skin off, and we can just chop them roughly because they're gonna eventually go in the blender. We have our onion and garlic ready to be sauteed. I'm gonna put my two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil in my pot. One. And two. I'll put in the onions first. Those will saute for about five minutes. Then we'll add in the garlic and do another three minutes. We'll saute the onions at a medium high heat. Now I'm gonna add in the garlic. I'm just gonna give that a few minutes till the garlic browns up a little bit. All right, that looks pretty good. Now I'm gonna dump all the onions, garlic, and olive oil into my blender. Now I'm gonna pulse this in the blender for about 20 to 30 seconds, get it nice and smooth. I'm gonna pour the blended sauce back into my pot. 
I'm gonna toss in my bay leaf, which will add some flavor while it's simmering. I'm gonna add in my anchovy. This will dissolve as it's heating up on the stove. So I'm turning on the stove to get it to boil. All right, the sauce is starting to pop. I lowered the heat to a simmer. We're gonna let this go for about 30 minutes, reduce it down a bit. All right, it's been 30 minutes. You can see it thickened up quite a bit. We have ourselves a nice marinara sauce. You can remove the bay leaf, its work is done. Last thing I'm gonna do is just take my basil, chop it up, and stir it into the marinara. The fragrance of the basil is a great last touch. Now we have a delicious marinara sauce. I'm gonna take a scoop of this marinara and put it on some spaghetti. Delicious, so many good flavors. Now you're ready for pasta night. You're ready to make Chicago deep dish. You have a great dipping sauce for your mozzarella sticks, your garlic knots, your calzones. So much you can do with it. So enjoy this marinara sauce.